And with our coverage here from Chicago, we're now joined by Ross Chastain, winner from last week's event from Gateway. So Ross, how are you doing today? Good, man. How are you? Good. So first off, let's start off talking about last week from Gateway. Pretty crazy race. Not necessarily the fastest truck out there, but you got it done. So talk us through that night. Yeah, it was. It was tough. Uh, same truck, same basic setup from Iowa the week previous, and, and we were off. Um, I felt like um, the whole race uh, just a little bit but uh, realized pretty quickly how big clean air was so um, the strategy played out in our favor where we um, our tire strategy uh, worked out where we had track position the second half of the race uh, but previous to that we were running around 10th to 13th and couldn't go anywhere so um, was glad to uh, to get up there and then just had to had to hold on the rest of the race and the truck once we got in the clean air the truck was plenty fast enough so you had that pretty big battle with Christian Eckes there near the end of the race, and then the pit strategy kind of got you out front there late. How important was that pit strategy with the clean air? Yeah, it was everything. To um, I mean, really taking no tires at the end was a pretty, I mean, in, in my crew chief Phil's eyes was a pretty simple call because we had already put two tires on once. You put them on again um, with how old the left sword was going to be incredibly imbalanced. So, um it only, it, I, I think we talked about maybe saved us about two seconds because we still took almost seven seconds of gas. Mm -hmm. uh, we needed six, and he counted an extra Mississippi to <laughs> make sure we had enough. We had about two gallons left at the end of the race. And, um, but my, my, what I feel like was the difference maker was the uh, getting on to the pit road. There's the access road in turn three and four. Really, the, the call was late. He thought I said I was out of gas. I was just saying I didn't know what I needed for handling to okay. help. And uh, so he called me to pit road right halfway down the back stretch. So I almost blew through the grass on the access road and got it slowed down. But I made up a ton of time right there and uh, was able to roll really fast around there and get to pit road. Um, that's where we got our gap. And then the caution comes out, right? Of mm, course. Yeah. And um, just had to, to nail the restart. And I spun my tires quite a bit. Uh, but the fourth place truck pushed really good down into one. And I was able to clear and get, get clear and lead off two. So with that win now, not completely locked into the playoffs yet, but all but at this point. So how big is that to kind of have the biggest hurdle to getting into the playoffs out of the way now? Oh, it's it's huge. I mean, making this switch, I couldn't sleep the nights leading up to deciding. And then once we did decide, I still couldn't sleep because I was scared to death about how it would affect other stuff and would we be able to accomplish what we felt. We felt it was attainable, but it's still, it's a different ball game to go execute. So, uh, you know, we came out of the, out of the gate at Texas and had a truck capable of winning and didn't uh, miss the pit strategy there and had to pit under green late in the race and then uh, went to Iowa and Gateway and just executed and won both races. So, um, you know, I feel like we can, this is the same truck we had at Texas and Charlotte and we can, we can go execute and, and we can win if we put everything together, to, you know, tomorrow night. All right. So let's move on to tomorrow night now. Um, haven't been on track yet today, so I'm sure you don't exactly know what to expect out of the truck yet, but you got practice today, qualifying race tomorrow, so uh, what are you expecting out of this weekend in Chicago? You going to go get another W? Well, I'd say I'm way overconfident <laughs> right now. That's yeah. how every driver's sitting in their holler out with their guys. We're just out there going through tech and and measuring everything now so we know what it was before so we can get it back there if something happens. and. Yeah, so I, I, I'm always very confident at this point. And then after the first practice, if you came back up here to the lounge, you'd see me um, drenched in sweat and, and with my head in my hands and my hat thrown somewhere because <laughs> we're not running as good as I want to. Right. So um, that's honestly, though, man, it's being a part of this team is, is we execute. That's where we, we're the best. And we have speed in our trucks, and our trucks are fast. But um, really just, like, going through. Now, one, after the weekend's over and you can look back, whether we've won or not, like, this has been the most fun to go through these practice sessions and get ready to qualify and, and looking through the data and what we need to be better. Um, it's the most competitive truck team I've ever driven for, and they're, they operate at such a high level that I put a lot of pressure on myself. And when I feel like I'm not holding up my end of the deal, I get really frustrated. So, um, you know, the first practice thing today, everybody can have data on their trucks. They can see their throttle and their braking and their steering inputs and how it's affecting the truck and the loads and the wheels and the hubs um, and out on the each tire uh, we don't have that like, we don't have data we don't have that stuff right. it's just too expensive so uh, we'll just go about it like a normal practice and they'll rely on my feel and the pictures that we get of the race truck and we'll just it's kind it's kind of the old school way it's not even just a PR 
you know talking about it because we're on camera. Right. It really is. It really is the way we operate. All right. Well, Ross Chastain looking for another win tomorrow night here from Chicagoland. Good luck this weekend, man. Thanks, man. And we'll have more coming up from Chicago. Stay with us.